Hi guys, I just wanted to pop on really fast. So I wanted to kind of play around with this color mixing for Tuesday's tips and techniques. And I just want to have a little fun with it and see all these colors we can change. We just have blue, red, and yellow. And I added white just to see, um, just to show you like even more colors you can make with just the colors alone. It just lightens everything up and just change the whole entire tone. So I'm gonna just play with these colors and see what kind of colors we come up with. And I'm gonna go based on the chart that I left you in the group. And so I'm gonna get a little bit of blue. I'm gonna put on this side here, another scoop of blue. Okay, then I'm gonna get a scoop of red, another scoop of red, and then I'm gonna mix it. Then there's the purple, that is it. Just like that. See, there's that one. And I guess I should have got me some water. It's so fun that you can just have three different colors, but come up with tons and tons of other colors from it. So it's a lot of fun. Um, and just to add to it, because I didn't have white on it, I'm gonna show you what, um, what will happen if I just add a little bit of white. And now we have a light purple, like a lavender. So see, now we have even another color just by adding the white to those three colors, okay? And then if you want the purple darker, just like the thing says, you're gonna do one scoop, one scoop, and then not two scoops of red, just one. And this is gonna give it a darker purple, okay? I hope you can see this. I'm just mixing it here on the plate, and then I'll show you on the paper. See how dark, that's, oh, that's darker than that. Not much, but it is darker. So see that, so cool. And then if you want it to be a lighter purple, you're gonna do the opposite. You're gonna do one scoop of blue and two scoops of red this time. And you can always play with these. And if you want more of one color or the other, you can just play with it and create your own color. That's the funnest part about it. Now this is a little bit of a different color, almost like a burgundy purple, like a plum. See how that changes all of these? See how that changed? So pretty. Now I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of white, tiny, a teeny bit of white, <laughs> and I'm gonna add that and mix it in there. And now we have a lighter purple. So see how fun that is? And these are just from the primary color, blue, red, and yellow, and now white. So I'm just gonna keep playing with these and show us I'll show some different colors. We're gonna do the green, and we're gonna do two scoops of blue. I might run out of room on this plate and <laughs> have to go to a different plate, but that's okay. I'll have another plate. Okay, and then now we're gonna do green. See? Now we have a green. I'm actually gonna move that out of the way. And I'll do it here. Look at that, that's a pretty green. It's like a foresty green. Let's see what happens whenever we put white in there. I just added one scoop of white. Maybe a tiny bit more scoop of white. See how it lightened it up? Super cool. Okay, so that was two scoops of blue and two scoops of yellow for the green. Now we're going to do a blue and we want two scoops of blue and one scoop of yellow. And this is going to be a light blue. Okay, see how it's a different blue? It's kind of like a teal color. And if you want it to be a little bit more, you can add a little tiny bit more yellow. And then if you want it lighter, you just add some white. And it made a whole new color. Now this is like a seafoam blue, if you ask me. See how cool that is? There's four different blues there and all we're using is the same color family. So awesome. I love color mixing. It's one of my favorite things to do. Because you really don't need a gob, a gob. You don't need a whole lot of 
paint, although I have a whole lot of paint because who doesn't want all the colors? But the, um, but you don't need them. So this is a really great way to kind of, you know, just if you only have a few colors, you can play with it and create your own. Okay, now we're gonna do like a lime greenish and then we're gonna take one scoop of blue and two scoops of yellow. Okay. Okay, now we got this green. And if we want to add a little bit of white to it, just to create one more color. I feel like I need a little bit more yellow to make it more limey. And that's sometimes you have to kind of play with it to see, you know, if you want a little bit more yellow, that will make it a little bit more lime green. See? like so and that's with a little bit of white added okay so let's see what we can do next we'll do the double yellow double red and make orange I'll move that all the way and then let's see we'll get two yellow two scoops yellow and two scoops red and this we're going to make an orange See how that made that orange? Maybe a little teeny bit more yellow. And then now we have an orange. I have a little bit of blue in my paintbrush. Then if we want to add a little teeny bit of white. Look at, now we have a lighter orange. And we can even make it lighter and lighter and lighter if we wanted to. I can really play with these colors just by adding and adding and adding. So it's like there, it's it's never ending. All these colors we can make together with all the just the three primary colors. See, we're getting lighter and lighter. So okay, so that's the orange. I say, not sure. I guess it's two yellows right here. And one red, and that's gonna make a kind of like a dark yellow, I guess. I don't know. The picture's a little bit deceiving on that one, if you ask me. I see. It's like a. It's like not as orange, I guess. Let's see. It's kind of a mustardy, yellowy orange. But the picture on the chart is a little bit off, I would say. I would say that, okay, now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do two scoops of red and one yellow. And this will make a, a dark orangish red, like an orangey red. Yeah, like a, kind of a tomatoey red. Okay, just like that. Then we want to add white to it. And have a lighter one. Let's watch it add white to the other, just to see what it looks like. Looking right here. Let's see, there we have a lighter one. All right, so now we will do a brown. This is our last one. Should I do on that one? And this is three colors mixed together. And let's see, I think I'll do it on this one because I have space on it. I don't want to waste another paper just for that. So we got blue, we're gonna do a dollop of blue. I'm gonna do it right here. We're gonna do one scoop of blue, so I'm gonna do a bigger scoop. Um, one scoop of red, and then one scoop of yellow. This is one of each, I think I got a hair in my brush. And then this is gonna be, and the reason why this turns into a muddy brown is because cold, cold and warm colors don't mix. They don't work with each other, so it turns brown. And I'll explain that in another tip or technique Tuesday 
or Tuesday's tips and techniques, I'll explain cools and, and warm colors because once you mix them, it turns brown just like that. It just turns to mud. Um, a lot of the colors complement and you have to mix certain colors with certain colors or else this is what it turns out like. But we still need browns in our color palette, so it's okay. And that's a brown. So cool, huh? And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it. And make it a light tan color, hopefully. Look at that. I don't know about you, but I love it. <laughs> so we made all those colors, all these colors. These colors just from the red, blue, yellow, and then of course we added white this time. So we made quite a bit of a mess, but that's okay. That's what's fun about painting. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I can't wait to see if you guys play around with the colors and show me what you guys come up with, paint something. And these remind me of pumpkins. Actually, these kind of the pumpkin leaves. So this reminds me of kind of like a Halloween-ish. Um, I know it's purple, but I think of like some witches and things have orange and purples and stuff. So, I mean, these are some fun, fun colors that we can create and paint different things with. But this is definitely pumpkin colors. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I can't wait to see your pictures. See you guys later. Bye.